Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGargar.com. In this video, we are going to look at the text join function of Excel 2016. Now, this function is new to Excel 2016. It is not available in previous versions. And it has been introduced to ease the way that we concatenate values from different cells. So what I would like to do is in column D, join the values from A, B, and C to create a full address. And typically you would use the concatenate function to do that, or maybe even a feature called flash fill. But we're going to use a new function called text join that would certainly create a smaller, more compact, and quicker and easier formula than concatenate. So let me begin to type this function in cell D2. I'll zoom in a little bit more on this spreadsheet first of all, so we can see what I'm writing on screen. And it's going to be text join, which as I mentioned, concatenates a range of strings together using a delimiter. And that is the first thing it's going to ask us. So we've got text join open bracket. What is your delimiter? So do I want something that's going to be separating these three values, the street, the city, the postcode? I do, and in my example, it's going to be a comma and a space. So I'm entering that as a string within these inverted commas, these double quotations, comma space. Now after that, I'll put my comma to move on to question two. Do I want to ignore empty strings? Uh, now I'm going to enter true. Uh, yes, I do want to ignore empty cells here. Um, yeah, why, why, why would I not, maybe? I'm going to show an example of that when we're done, uh, what impact that could have. So I'm going to enter true, though. That's probably the likely answer there. And I'm going to put a comma. So the last question, really, or the last mandatory one, although we can see on screen, hopefully, that you can enter more than one lot of text here. But I simply just need to highlight A2 to C2, those three cells, so this could be more or less than that, those three cells, can you join A2, B2 and C2, ignoring any empty cells if there are any, there's not here, and can you delimit them, can you separate them with a comma and a space? Close bracket and enter, and we have the full address. And if I copy that down, it will do the same for all of them, each one delimited by a comma and space. Now, if I was to go and remove one of the cells, like in B3, if I delete London from there, it has no effect on the formula. Well, it does, it's a different result, but it doesn't ruin it in any way. Now, if I just go back into the formula for a moment and just change my true to false, so I do not want it to ignore empty cells and copy that down now. Now, that is what it would do. It then puts the comma space in, even though there's nothing there. So that is why we put true. So if that kind of thing is likely to happen in your spreadsheets, in your example, then that's the impact that it could have. You know, it's not necessarily a bad thing. That is why the example, uh, yeah, the option is even there. But I would assume in most cases you want true there. You want to ignore those, those possible empty cells. And that is the text string, sorry, the uh, text join function of Excel 2016. It certainly made that an easier task to join three columns than it would have been in, in previous versions. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Please check out some of our other videos on our YouTube channel. Uh, come check us out at computergargar.com.